Steve, well done. Thanks. Excellent win. Fantastic yeah. night for, for your team. Yeah, it's nice to hear excellent win. It's nice to hear that because... Um, um, it's been a long time coming it, but we've had, you know, we've had so many ways to try and ride over the last six weeks. It's just been in incredibly difficult. Um, and we've been low, low on numbers, low on quality. Look at them making five subs and the calibre of the subs that they can bring on. You know, they, they would be in our starting lineup, but then, you know, they have a budget that's, it, it won't be far off twice ours. That's why they can afford to get better players. Um, but we've taken four points out of six off of Bristol Rovers this year, which is a, a good return. What a start as well. It so often happens, doesn't it? Players yeah. come up against a former club and, and score against them, as was the case for Luke Leahy. It's funny because um, we did a little bit of extra work yesterday on our set plays because I don't think that we've made the most of them. And, and without saying that one was perfect, what we rehearsed, it was perfect. Uh, uh, you, you wouldn't believe it if you'd have been here yesterday and you'd have recorded training and then we go and score that. So that was really, really pleasing yesterday that we managed to get that goal um, that gave us a good start. And I know it was, how many minutes in was it? Two, three? Three minutes. Three minutes, but we were, you know, this is going to sound a little bit soppy, but for three minutes we were fantastic. And that's why that came. We, we flew out of the traps and we were, we were really bright at the start today. And, um, and that was important for us. And that got us a, a good start in the game. Um, and then to get the second goal, brilliant for Robert Street, brilliant for him, you know, he's... He hasn't trained so far this week from the game at the weekend. He went to his granddad's funeral this morning. He's driven up from London today. So great credit to the kid. And I, honestly, I couldn't be happier for him tonight that, that that's happened. And um, he deserves an enormous amount of credit for playing. And I probably wouldn't have taken him off. I think that... I think that he was going along OK and then all of a sudden he rolled his ankle. But then, hey, what's new with that again with Shrewsbury picking up some sort of injury? Fantastic contribution throughout the season from, from Rob Street to all yeah. the lone players. But yeah. he's really got a few goals as well, hasn't he, now in, in recent weeks? Got, really got his rewards. Yeah, really pleased about that. Really, really pleased about that because, you know, it's something that he works on every day and, you know, I think... I think a lot of it as well is confidence. Don't forget he hadn't played so well and good him coming from Crystal Palace. Um, but, you know, he hadn't played at League One level. So, yeah, I, I think that all of the loanees have been great. But, you know, with, we're talking about Robert at the moment because of the circumstances that involved in him playing in tonight's game. So he deserves huge credit. As do the other loan players. I never want to leave them out because... They've really, really been um, integral to the group and the group accepting them because they're good lads. So we've been, we've been extremely lucky with, with the lone players this year because they've played their part. They've really played their part. Bristol Rovers got one back and then they pushed and, and pushed some yeah. more for an equaliser, but your team yeah. held out. How impressive was that to, to hold on for the, for the points? Well, the old adage was Che Dunkley, Tom Flanagan... Taylor Moore getting their head on balls in the box. Um, you know, ably assisted by Elliot and uh, Jordan Shipley today. Mid three midfield players worked extremely hard in front. You know, when all of a sudden a team makes five changes, change 50% of their outfield players. It's hard. It's hard when they do that. And you've got your, your boys that are in their second game and they've already played 90. So some of theirs have played 60, I think, and come off at the weekend. So, you know, it must be a, must be a delight for Joey to have a squad that size um, and a budget that is much bigger than ours to get those players in, you know. I think the board at, at Bristol Rovers have done very well in 
you know, putting together that squad or helping Joey put that squad together. And at the end, with the game won, special scenes as you pulled all the players and, and staff towards you and, and, and had a few words with them on the pitch, Steve? Yeah, well, I just wanted to make sure that everybody was together um, and that we wanted to go around and thank the supporters. So, I, you know, I just had a small few words that I wanted to say to them before we went round and um, as per normal I thank them for their efforts and um, they, they've been a special group of lads, they really have and, and I like them a lot. In fact I said on my programme notes I love them and I probably do, I love them a lot. I, in fact I probably love them but I don't always like them. <laughs> so work that one out. And you're back in the top half? Of the League yeah. One table, so yeah. a perfect way to to end the home home campaign. Yeah, yeah, that was that was good to win your win your last home game. Everybody likes that; it sends the supporters off with a warm feeling, doesn't it? So we're pleased about that. You know, we're we're down and we're a bit sorry about the run we've been on, um, but there isn't been anything we can do about it. Only have a bigger squad, and to have a bigger squad, you've got to have a bigger budget. That's the bottom line with it. So we've done what we've done. We've done what we've done, even against all the injuries that we've had. And they've not been two Bob injuries, you know. They've been proper injuries. Operations, left, right and centre we've had. You know, when De Costa was here, him. O'Brien when he was here, him. Elliot Bennett, you know. Um, Matthew Pennington. Tom Flanagan. Tom Flanagan's done great to play in these last two games because his ankle's not right. Um, Tom Baylis, Dan Udo, George Nurse. Imagine what it would be like just to have them five available. Just to have them five available. But, you know, and most of them, you could dot them around, could get in most League One squads those players so it has been it's been incredibly tough incredibly tough but there's been lots of enjoyment along the way and um, it has been it has been I like that I just heard Nick say so shout shout that a bit louder Nick <laughs> you shout that a little bit louder mate <laughs> um, but I um yeah, Nick Seifel up there, top guy, top guy. Um, so I, I can't remember what I was saying anyway <laughs> now, it's just probably rambling there. Uh, and off the field, Steve, we did touch on this briefly ahead, ahead of kickoff. Uh, news from the football club earlier today, the departure mm. of uh, the chief executive, Brian Caldwell, after yeah. seven years of the football mm. club. Your reaction, Steve, to the Sadness. Piece? Sadness is my reaction. Um, uh, I... I I think the football club has lost a good guy, um, a good CEO. Um, I obviously, in the two and a half years I came in, chairman said he wanted me to work closely with him. I did that for the two and a half years. Um, he was just very, very supportive towards me, um, especially when I had COVID. And that time, and coming back to work, he was very, very caring, and I, I will miss him. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, he, it's, um, it's very sad. That's the bottom line. And uh, he was a good guy. Yeah, good guy. Thanks for your time, Stephen. Well done tonight. Okay.